Hello everybody. In this video, I discuss about the BSc topic, 5th semester, paper 5 of Downgare University and the session is 5th session. Today's topic is uh, the experimental determination of critical potential by Frank and Hertz method. So, in the previous video, I have already given the definition of critical potential. So, in this video, let me discuss the experimental determination of this critical potential. The experimental arrangement of the uh, Frank and Hertz method is as in the figure 1. It consists of a tube T. In this tube T, uh, gas of the element whose critical potential is to be determined is filled at a around the pressure of about 1 millimeter of mercury. The element the Frank and Hertz has considered is mercury vapors. Okay. So, the filament F when it is heated with a low tension battery, it emits the electrons and these electrons are accelerated towards the grid G by maintaining a potential difference between F and G with the help of this battery, call it as V heat. Okay. Let P be a collector plate which is maintained slightly negative potential. You can make out here it is maintained slightly negative potential. Okay. It is around uh, uh, V dash is around 0 0.5 volts. Okay. And the ammeter will help us in taking a collector current. Okay. So, to begin with the potential V dash is kept constant that is 0 0.5 volts. And the potential uh, of V is varied between 0 to 60. Okay. So, to begin with, let me consider a smaller value of this one. And a plot of collector current versus accelerating potential is plotted. And the graph is as in the figure 2. So, from the graph, it is showing that up to certain voltage, there is no collector current. As the accelerating potential is increased, the collector current goes on increases and it is found that at around 4.9 volts of accelerating potential, there is a sudden dip in the collector current. And one thing you have to notice here that it is just becoming minimum not reaching a zero here. On further increase of this accelerating potential, again the collector current goes on increases and the second dip in the collector current is taking place at a 9.8. 8 volts that is from these two values it is clear that around the difference of 5 volts the dips are occurring in this experiment. So, this phenomena continues here. Now, we have to understand uh, from this graph that why this collector current is not given in this experiment up to certain voltage and why this first and the second uh, minimum is occurring in the collector. Current. So, for that let me explain in this manner and we know that in the beginning we have kept this V dash as a 0 0.5 volts. So, that is kept constant throughout the experiment and we have to remember that this is maintained at a negative potential here. So, until the electrons accelerated towards the grid G uh, reaches this kinetic energy, this kinetic energy means the potential maintained uh, here is 0 0.5 volts. So, as the electrons are negatively charged, they are unable to reach the collector plate as it is maintained at a negative potential. Once the electrons here gain a sufficient energy as by increasing this potential, the electrons will accelerate with a greater speed, thereby they are attaining a greater and greater kinetic energy. Here. Once the electrons at the grid attains a kinetic energy, sufficient kinetic energy that is then they start reaching the collector plate. Because of this, up to certain voltage, we will not get the collector current here. As the potential V kept on increased here, the current goes on increases and we have to understand why the minimum, the dip is taking at a 4.9 volts. When this potential is around 4.9 volts, okay, the, there is a, a inelastic collision between the uh, electrons and the mercury atoms and we know that the ground state energy of the mercury atoms is around 4.9 volts at when the electrons will achieve this energy during its 
inelastic collision between the electrons and the mercury atom the electrons will lose its complete energy to the mercury atoms hence they are not left with any energy to reach the collector plate i hope you understand so the collision will be always there between the mercury atoms and the electrons in the process of electron moving from filament to grid but the thing is whenever the mercury atoms will get a sufficient energy that means uh, the energy uh, which is required to excite them from the lower energy state to higher energy state then only they are going to absorb it completely okay so here also the same thing is happening here every time the collision is taking place what when the energy of these electrons reaches a value of around 4.9 ohms during collision the entire energy of the electrons is absorbed by the mercury atoms and they get excited to the next uh, higher energy levels here so once these electrons will lose the energy completely and automatically as this plate is maintained at a negative potential so these electrons will uh, left with no energy to reach this one again therefore there is a sudden dip in the current is going to take place but it is not reaching a zero because few electrons may escape through this grid without undergoing any inelastic collision therefore they are going to uh, give the small amount of current that's why we are not getting a minimum uh, sorry zero current at the 4.9 ohms here so on further increase of the potential v here again the electron start gaining energy thereby starts reaching the collector plate here so again the collector current goes on increases at around the potential is 9.8 ohms again the same phenomena is going to take place now we can understand the two atoms may be excited from the two atoms of mercury two atoms of mercury have absorbed the each of 4.9 ohms 4.9 ohms thereby it becomes a 9.8 ohms may be excited to the uh, higher energy level therefore the second dip is arising around 9.8 ohms in the difference of 5 ohms between the first dip and the second dip so in the subsequent uh, uh, dips are occurring in this experiment around 5 volts that means the uh, first atom the uh, one atom two atom like this the process is going to continue here yeah? so actually you have to think about the not only the one and two atoms will be there in this one many number of million number of atoms will be there for our explanation we are taking into consideration only the two atoms into accounts so this this dip refers to the only one atom might be excited to the excited level and at this stage we can we are just considering only two atoms may be uh, uh, exciting to the next level here so this process is happening with the not only the two atoms the all the atoms which are presenting between the filament and the grid is taking place here for our explanation we have taken only the uh, these two uh, phenomena here so from this experiment it is clear that uh the at every excitation the dips are occurring here so once these excited electrons while returning uh, they have to emit the same amount of energy what they have observed during the uh, ground state here so from the calculation it is clear that uh, the while returning to the ground state they emit a photon of wavelength 2000 uh, i will show you here okay emit a wavelength around 2536 angstrom so if you substitute this value in this equation we will come to uh, the value of 4.9 electron volts because i explained here around 4.9 volts the energy attained by the electrons is around 4.9 electron volts this is the ground state energy of the mercury thereby the first excitation is taking place okay so this is the how frank and hertz could able to determine the excitation that is critical potentials we can say the in this way the experiment shows in a very convincing way the existence of discrete energy levels in the mercury atom the one uh, drawback the main drawback of this experiment is that it which is not possible to distinguish between the which is the excitation potential and which is the ionization potential this is the only drawback in this experiment otherwise this experiment convincingly explains the how to determine a critical potential 
this is all about i wanted to give the explanation in this video thank you very much